Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to see how we can set up a volume based pricing structure for our plans and accept payments via Stripe Payment Gateway using Pabli subscription. So first, let's understand what is volume based pricing module. So in volume based pricing uh, structure, you can set ranges of quantities and set per unit price for each range. So for example, I sell ink pens and I set a quantity range for a, a quantity set for my pens and define per unit pricing for each range. So uh, the pricing for one to five units of ink pen is like uh, $20 per unit. For six to 10 quantities, the per unit pricing is $15. And for quantities 10 and above, the pricing is $12 per unit. So if my customer buys six unit of the pen, so this six unit falls under the range of six to 10 quantities, where the per unit pricing is $15 per unit. So the six units multiplied by $15 per unit will be $90. So my customer will pay $90 for six unit of the pens. I hope this is clear to you all. So now let's move on to Babli subscription billing and create our own volume based structure plan. So here we will create a plan for limited edition Christmas t-shirts, right? So suppose I have a Christmas shop and I am selling limited edition Christmas t-shirts. So uh, I have created a plan for you. Let's see what are the settings that I have done to create the volume based structure. So I have given the plan name here. It will be a one time plan because it is a physical product. So it will be a one time purchase. So I have kept the billing cycle as one time and the pricing structure that I have kept is the volume pricing. We have various pricing modules available with us. So you can choose any of the suitable uh, pricing module according to your business need. Here we are seeing how to create a volume based structure. So I have selected the volume based pricing module. Now for one to 10 units of the shirt, I want the pricing to be $30 per unit. That is, I will charge $30 per t-shirt. However, if someone buys quantity 11 to 20, the price will be reduced to $20 per unit. And if someone even uh, buys a higher quantity, that is if someone buys 21 or above, then the pricing would be $15 per unit. So I have done all the setups here. And uh, you can also add a one-time fee if you want to collect a uh, one-time fee or set of fee. That is completely up to you. That is uh, optional. Also, we have given the option to add a free trial or paid trial for your uh, subscription um, products. And now we have given this option to test whether your pricing uh, is working fine or not. So you can test if a purchase is happening for 12 units, what will be the payable amount? So this 12 units fall into, into the category of 11 units to 20 units, where the per unit pricing is $20. So 20 into 12, it will be $240. So our uh, settings are working fine and let's move on. So here in the plan description, you can give a brief about your product. What is your product is all about uh, and all the information uh, regarding your product. So I have uh, given the uh, image of my t-shirts that I'm selling and I have given a short description that these are the limited edition Christmas t-shirts. So uh, you can put all the relevant information regarding your product in the plan description. This plan description will be visible on the checkout page to your customers. Next, we will move on to select our payment gateway that we will be showing on the checkout page. So customer can select that payment gateway and proceed with the payment. So in the gateway, I have selected Stripe since we will be collecting the payments through Stripe. Then we have various options given here by after you have created a plan, you can do additional options such as you can create a funnel, you can offer upsell and downsell for your product and there are various other settings. So you can just watch the video tutorial that we have given here to explore all the other options that are available while creating a plan. 
So for now, we will save these settings. So in order to select the payment gateway, we will have to integrate the payment gateway first in our Pabli account. So we have to go to the settings, payment gateway integration, and you will be given all the list of all the integrated payment gateways that are available with Pabli. So you will click on connect now here as we are integrating Stripe. So you just have to put the necessary keys that are required to integrate your payment gateway account. So you will fetch these keys from your Stripe account and put them here and you will just submit. Once you have integrated your Stripe account, it will be shown under the connected payment gateways and it will be available to you to choose while creating the plan. Now let's see how the checkout page will look to the user. So this is the checkout page that I have customized. So we have given the option to customize your checkout page in the checkout customizer. So you will find the option here and we have given various designing and editing uh, tools here to completely customize your checkout page. So getting back to the checkout page that we have created. So this is the checkout page that will be shown to your customer. They can choose the quantity that they want to buy from here. And you can also put a plan details that if you purchase higher quantity, the pricing will be low. So your customer can purchase a higher quantity depending upon their requirements. So let's see what will happen if we increase the quantity. So we have a range set to 1 to 10. So suppose if I go till 10, the per unit pricing was $30, correct? So for 10 quantities, my amount will be $300, 10 multiplied by 30. But if I go even higher than 10, then it falls into the category of 11 to 20 quantities where the per unit pricing was $20. Hence, for 11 quantities, my amount will be $220 according to $20 per unit. So this is how the customer can purchase the product and they have to just fill in their information, select the payment gateway and complete the order. So volume based pricing structure actually encourages bulk buying since the customers are offered lower prices for higher quantities. So it will be very beneficial for your uh, company or organization since it promotes bulk buying and you will be uh, getting more sales through this type of pricing structure. So this is how you can create a volume based pricing plan for your product using Pabli subscription link. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any queries, you can write it down in the comment section or you can reach out to us at admin at Thanks for watching.